Friday morning, you guys. It is off to a bit of a rocky start. Um, I will explain a little bit about that later, but we have a, a bunch of DTF printers, or a bunch of DTF prints we have to get printed today. We also have a screen printing order that we're gonna be putting on our press. So let's knock out this Friday and get ready for the weekend. All right, guys, time is 11 o'clock right now. Um, we got into the office a little after nine, and basically this whole time I've been fighting with printer, DTF printer number two. Um, so I came in today, we have a bunch of DTF transfers we have to get printed, and I planned to run both printers. Um, so I was getting DTF number two uh, set up and everything, and I was running cleanings, and there's a huge clog in it. Let me show you guys. So these were all the cleanings that I ran, and the clog is in the same spot. It's in this blue right here. You can kind of see that gap, but it has not let up like it's not getting any better. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six cleanings. I did six cleanings on it. I also did a load ink, which is basically um, like you just run the ink, like a bunch of ink through the lines to try to get it unclogged. So that was um, number two step that we were taking when we have a big clog we typically just run a bunch of cleanings it usually gets it out um, step number two is to load ink and i did that twice and that did not um, help so then we go to step number three which we call which we call the nuclear option and let me grab that this is our nuclear option it's a clog buster it basically just sits in the printer head um, for about like 20 25 minutes it says no more than 30. so um, I have this sitting in there right now. I actually have to clean it in a second and I'll let you guys know the outcome of that. But until then, DTF printer at number one is going strong. It came in with zero clogs today. So that's always perfect. I did have to change the film on it this morning, but that's literally like nothing. That's just an everyday thing. So we have the printing going on. I changed all the files over to this that I was gonna print on DTF number two. To this um, printer just in case that I can't get that clog out but we're not gonna think about that yet so let's go run that cleaning all right guys the I don't know if my mic is on yet it's okay the cleaning is finished so it's the moment of truth to see if this clog here we go I'm gonna click so I just basically the way we check for clogs is we hit this um, check mark here we go Cross your fingers and your toes. Guys, it's still there. Oh no. It's still there. What? Oh, you can't even see. Sorry. What is happening? Alright, I have to go get Alex now. He's not going to be too happy. Okay guys, before I ran and told Alex we had a catastrophic problem, I ran one more load ink and um, another cleaning and look at this it's getting i want it to focus so much better so like right here i'm trying to see if you guys can see this see this big gap right here that was the ink clog and it's looking so much better there so i think i'm going to run another cleaning and hopefully guys knock on wood i don't have any wood around me that we are figuring this out we have bone we have owned can't speak this morning both of these printers for the last like six months I want to say even longer maybe almost a year and I have never had a clog that was this stubborn and it was making me really nervous because um, I really was not sure what we're gonna do Alex is gonna watch this back and be one impressed that I figured it out on my own if we figure it out and two that happy he didn't have to deal with it because this has been a pain in the butt um so i just ran another cleaning let's check that okay so it's about the same size as this one so i think i might do another load ink you know what's also like pretty comical about all this is that i wrote a um blog post this morning about troubleshooting dtf and screen printing issues and and um i and then this happens so it's pretty annoying, but I just, it's laughing. I'm laughing as I'm thinking about it. It's also just another one of those little things that makes me very happy we have two printers. Um, because if we had one, I mean, I've spent the last almost two hours trying to figure this out. So 
very happy we have two printers. This is another reason that you guys should just sign up for AMS Transfers Plus um, because let us deal with these headaches so you guys don't have to. All right, time is 2.51 right now. The last you guys heard, we were trying to get the ink clog out of the printer and I told you that I thought I had it, um, but it's still not 100% perfect. So I've just been running cleanings throughout the day and um, letting it soak with Clog Buster. So right now, Alex and I are going to knock out. We have just a um, like average size screen printing order. It should just take us a few minutes. We're gonna knock that out. And then we do have to film our podcast for today. Um, the DTF transfers are done for the day. Uh, so we do have to cut that. And oh, there we go, can't even see. We do have to cut right there and then drag it down. So it's gonna be a busy little bit left for the day and then we're gonna head out of here. All right guys, we finished up the screen printing job. It was just a few. Um, so we did use the manual press back there. Now I am just filming a video for you guys, um, kind of going over the difference between DTF prints and screen prints. Um, so that's gonna be up in a couple days we have a our ink mixing system which was a complete fail today um if you don't know what that is i've done a video on it in the past but it's basically just with the colors i'm not sure how many colors it is but it's all of those back there i don't know if you guys could see all of those back there and then these and you can basically make any color that you'll need, ever need. Um, so I was making a color for the screen prints, um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish filming this video and then we're gonna package up and hopefully head out. All right guys, that is going to wrap up today. We just finished packaging up all the orders and then um, we do need to go drop them off at UPS, but I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.